On this video, I'm going to take the DJI Mini 2, combine it with the Litchi app, and show you two modes which I think you will be able to use to get some absolutely epic cinematic footage. So let's get into it. Now on some previous videos I have taken the DJI Mini 2 and shown you how you can use Litchi to active track a car, okay? This was quite a strenuous test on the channel, but one I think, you know, really showcased what the Litchi app and the DJI Mini 2 is capable of. I've also shown how you can use the GPS follow function, uh, where the drone will follow the controller's location uh, to be able to get some really cool shots. Not to mention, I've shown the active track feature with Orbit to get some really dynamic shots as well. Now, don't forget, Litchi is also compatible with the DJI Mavic Mini, the Mini SE, the Mavic Air 2, and the Air 2S as well. And whilst owners of the Mavic Air 2 and the Air 2S have already enjoyed the benefits of these smart modes already. Mini 2 owners, SE owners and Mavic Mini owners, of course this is all new and exciting. But on this video I'm going to show you two additional modes. The modes I'm going to show you are the focus mode and the orbit mode. So let's not waste any more time, let's get the drone up in the air and let's get on with the video. On this video the two modes I'm going to show you are orbit and focus. Now the way focus works is it basically locks onto your controller or point of interest and allows Litchi to control the drone's yaw and gimbal pitch to keep the controller or a point of interest in focus, okay? So let's click over to that focus tab now. And then what I'm going to do is just select me back on screen. Now the way we select the options is by going to the menu on the left hand side and where it says subject you can see point of interest or mobile device. I'm going to do quick two quick tests. The first one's going to be the mobile device and then I'll try a point of interest. Aircraft rotation of course we want the aircraft to be able to yaw uh, to keep us in focus so we'll leave that alone and joystick speed limiter again I'm going to leave that entirely as it is. So I'm just going to have the subject height down to zero so let's go ahead and click start, okay? And all I'm going to do is press the one stick and let the drone do the rest. So as you can see, my hand is here. Let's click the right stick to do an orbit round myself. And as you can see, the drone is keeping me in shot. Now it is a little bit windy, so it's not gonna be perfect, but it's not doing too bad of a job. And of course, not to mention as well, is of course, you know, the faster you go, it's gonna look a little bit jerky, but if you're quite smooth with it, it's not gonna look too bad. And of course, the idea is for you to get smooth cinematic footage. That's the whole point, okay? So let's quickly just increase a bit of speed there and continue this turn. There you go. So what I'm going to do is just quickly fly towards myself and the gimbal should pitch itself down to keep me in focus. I'm not touching anything. There you go, that has kept us in focus. And if we go backwards, it should raise back up again to keep me in focus. So that was quite successful and you can see what uses you might have for that. So if I click stop and go back into our menu and select point of interest. So what I'm going to do now is go back to our map and I want to select a point of interest. So for this I'm going to use this lighthouse. And then what I'm going to then do is go ahead and click start. And then I'm just going to fly towards the lighthouse. And then what the drone is going to do is automatically going to keep the lighthouse in frame, okay? I'm not controlling any yaw stick or any direction, I'm just pointing forwards. So now I've got a little bit closer, let's just start a sweep round. And this of course replaces like the spotlight mode, um, so it's quite handy. There we go. And that's controlling that all by itself. And of course, like I say, it is windy, so please do uh, give it a fighting chance. Don't be too critical on it at this moment in time. It's doing as good as what we can expect. There we go, look. So I'm not touching the yaw, the drone is doing that all by itself. For this one, what I'm going to do is show you the orbit function. Okay, so if we flick to orbit, let's move that out of the way, okay. And then what we do is we set the setting here as a point of interest. Now, what I can then do is select a point of interest on screen. Uh, you can see if we tap that again, 
altitude 20 meters and we can select our radius uh, we can select the speed aircraft uh, entry storage point, is full. heading mode center direction anti-clockwise gimbal control auto subject height one meter so basically this is going to be a cool little demonstration so all i'm going to do is go ahead and bring me back onto the screen and then hit start and let's click ok so the drone is flying off to its entry point it's now going to spin round this drone is now just going to make a nice orbit around a subject of course you could have or i could have done that with that lighthouse and it would have looked absolutely fantastic but essentially what it's doing is it of course just selecting and following this path on screen as we have instructed it to again a little bit slow but this is how good and this is a really really great mode for getting smooth footage as you can see you select the entry point you select the rotation uh you select the speed you've got many options to choose from and i'm sure you can use this software to get the exact footage that you see fit there you go so again it's still being completely and utterly smooth uh we've got an sd card warning yeah strong winds absolutely incredible strong winds out here and the software and the drone itself is handling it absolutely perfect unless you stop it it will just continue do its thing once you've set it to do what it needs to do but what i'm going to do is of course this is the end of the video so let's stop that and let's land so now we know what these two modes do and exactly how you use them please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below until next time please do consider subscribing if you enjoyed this content and please do check out all my other videos i have done on litchi if you haven't seen them already and of course a big thumbs up would be highly appreciated until next time, see you again soon.